This artist draws lots of people and objects from imagination, or more specifically from visualization. He foresees what he will draw, its perspective, shape, and then he puts it in paper. So why do artists insist in drawing guidelines everywhere? Shouldn't you follow this guy's process instead? I'm Goose, and today we're going to be talking about the use of guidelines in your picture. So the question that comes to my mind is, should you draw with or without guidelines? The answer is simple. It depends. Either way could be correct, depending on the situation and what you want to get from your drawing. Just don't get confused. This guy has lots of drawing experience, lots of training in human shapes, objects, perspective, and most especially visualization. He visualizes all the scene he's going to draw, its angle, and using all his experience, he goes for it. No guidelines at all. Or so it seems. And still, I'm going to fix up this drawing and I'm going to show you the structure laying beneath. Breaking down his characters to make them more simple to the down, I'm looking at the spaces between the eyes. I'm looking at the spaces between the nose and the eyes. The space between... He makes mistakes, some of which could be easily solved, making a little check to perspective. And don't get me wrong, what this guy does is amazing and it takes a very special kind of person to do it the way he does it. I certainly couldn't. Using this idea, I wanted to try a quick experiment. I will draw the same picture twice using different techniques. I will draw the beloved T'Challa, Chavez Bosman, 15 minutes for each picture. The first time without guidelines using my visualization skills. The second time with guidelines doing what I do best, not trusting myself. I will not use any transformation tools and I will try to reduce the undoes to the minimum to keep the experience as real as possible. You will see the complete and cut process with its benefits and flaws. It's up to you to decide which process fits you best. I will give you my thoughts at the end. This is the first drawing. It looks pretty bad to be honest. I tried to follow the shapes I saw as accurately as I could, but it was difficult to keep proportions and perspective correct. Although saying I didn't use any guidelines would be incorrect. Every time I draw, I use every shape as reference for something else. In this case, I use mental guidelines to know where to put the next thing. Something I noticed right away is that the process was really quick and fluid. Not accurate at all, but quick. In my second drawing, I used some guidelines that help a lot with the proportions, but it came to a cost, time. The process this time was far more accurate for what I could do in 15 minutes, of course. The thing is that right now, neither of them look like Chavez Boseman. Maybe it needs some color, right? To keep a better comparison, I decided to work for around an extra hour on each picture. This is my finished guidelines picture. And these are the final pictures after the extra time. Let me clarify that normally a finished picture for me takes a minimum of 4 or 5 hours, normally around 8 to 12. Both these pictures were finished in less than three hours. So these are the results compared to the reference. It is not great, but right away I can notice how the picture with the guidelines feels closer to it. The other one has serious structural issues. My conclusion is simple. Both ways have benefits and problems. If you're drawing many characters and objects in one scene, 
Drawing guidelines for each of them might take lots of time and your audience possibly wouldn't know those little mistakes anyway, which is the case of Kim jong gi But if what you're going to do is to show one character either alone or standing out from a crowd, you should possibly use guidelines to make sure your character is as accurate as possible. Last, don't feel guidelines as something restrictive. Use them as you need. For some artists, it is good to use a few guidelines to keep perspective correct and very soon they can go with a free drawing. Other artists would feel safer with more guidelines. Which kind are you? Try different workflows to understand which one fits you better. But most importantly, drawing should be fun. I hope this experiment brings some ideas on when and when not to use guidelines depending on the situation. If this video was useful for you, consider to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, share it to somebody who can find it useful. See you in the next video. Adios.